We're getting the cars warmed up and we're about to head out to Detail Garage Northwest here on Babcock Road. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and hope you guys enjoy the cars you see. Peace. Action Porsche, five O's, rat rods, hell dogs, and then we got a Dominic Toretto set up with the line of OBS. Pretty cool. We got a Ford Performance Blue GT 350, pretty, pretty clean car. Factory 92. Who remembers who's an OG and remembers the antimatter blue single cab? If you guys do, comment antimatter. And uh, let me know how many OGs I got on the channel. This definitely brought a smile to me. It's an XL too, but it's a 2023. Another single cab, Marano built. It's on stocks, Lord. I like the height, probably is a four by four. We got Jaime's Porsche J3 Flores and his C10. You guys might know him on social media. He's getting a super crazy build done by a midnight performance with a black tubular, like full tubular F-150. But he also has a sick 911 as you guys can see right there and then the the mamalona come on and i've never seen this build in person and he's bringing out the turbo c6 z06 this car is fucking insane now don't get me wrong the other cars are built i think it's time his car he has one very similar to this but this thing's insane we got a boosted SS. Oh, and that's a ZL1. Looks nice. We got another SS. We got a Challenger RT. Pretty cool car. My uncle has a Barracuda this color, so I wanted to record it. We got a big Whipple Boy in here. I don't know what size it is. I think it's a 3.0. I don't know if they make 3.8s for these, but looks pretty clean. Clean S550, like the PPT chin spoiler. Got some bikes. Oh yeah. Got the lineup of the Fox bodies. Oh yeah. Let me know which ones you guys like. A nice Rubicon. I do like the Gladiators. GTR. And we got a joint. We got a road course S550 and we got a dark course S550. Well, it's specialties. <laughs> oh, dude. Checks money. Yeah. ESS, and that's a Pro Charger. 2JZ here. Smaller turbo, probably like a 45, 50 millimeter. All right, so we're back at home. We made a trip. Hope you guys enjoyed the content of the car show, but it's time for the not so fun stuff of having a car, right? The maintenance. So we went ahead and got some fresh oil. I was going to change the spark plugs, but i don't really trust myself gapping them like that's that's the only thing it came down to i was like i i really don't have too much experience gapping plugs so i was like you know what i'll just save it to when i take it to uh, oscar shrek motorsports or or uh, nate here locally um used to be drowsy now he's working with j3 so j3 performance and diesel um so they usually do my maintenance on the vehicles itself but Kind of have like a little awkward situation that i need to check the oil before i drive the car just because we pushed it really really hard and uh yeah i just want to make sure the car is basically dialed in so we're gonna go ahead and change the oil we're gonna take a look at it and uh that should be it um empty out the catch can that's another thing and the next thing we'll do is uh we'll go ahead and uh what is it change out the spark plugs later on but not too hard uh, all you have to do is 
go ahead and just take these lines off and then all you do is take off the the valve covers or this little piece right here and then you, you get access to your spark plugs so not too hard but let's go ahead and do it maintenance check is all good oil came out all clean just want to go ahead and uh, have that peace of mind everything was working flawlessly um other piece of maintenance that we did on the car itself was a. Uh, we took off the lug nuts and noticed some of them were cracked. Uh, so I went ahead and put these on for now. We're not gonna be driving with them just cause we only have two lug nuts holding the wheel there. And then on the rear itself, I went ahead and just put some acorn lug nuts, like some steel ones. And uh, we're gonna be replacing those with some titanium or billet ones. And this just goes back to basically just maintenance of the vehicle, right? You wanna check things over, especially after racing it um, to make sure that it's ready for the next outing. Same thing on this side, we put the acorn lug nuts and then we have the two spline lug nuts uh, holding the front wheels together. Um, we're actually gonna be taking them off and the rear wheels because we already got new tires. We've got the Mickey Thompson's Pro Bracket Radials and uh, this is the size itself and the item number. So they're still 28 by 10 and a half and 15. So I'm gonna be selling the bias ply stiff walls, hopefully locally here in San Antonio. Hopefully some someone wants them. And uh, I'm gonna be say, selling the bias ply front runners as well, which is gonna be a 27 by four and a half from 17. Uh, if anyone's is interested, hit, it, hit me on Instagram, hit me on TikTok, or just comment it here and uh, I'll, I'll follow up with you guys. But I'm gonna be selling them fairly cheap. I think the rear ones I'll be doing like, let's say 250. And then for the fronts, I'll do 300. Um, actually, no, I'll do like 250, 250. Just because the rear one, one of them does does have a, a nail in it. If you guys want to fix it, then go right ahead. I'm, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you guys, they're cheap tires, if you guys want to use it to lay rubber down somewhere or do whatever you want. But we're going to be putting the radials on. First time out, we went 916 at 154. So I'm really excited to go ahead and uh, get this like combo vetted. We're going to go out and test one more time. It's going to be at Edinburgh Motorplex or Edinburgh Motorsports Park. Uh, just because we're going to have a grudge race coming up here pretty soon with the Corvette ZR1 in 2013. I don't know what the mo what the mods are exactly. I know, I know it's basically full bolt-on. I think it might have like an upgraded blower or ported blower. I'm not too sure, but we're not we're not scared. It's going to be a good match. And uh, he's actually one of my good friend's buddies. Um, he, got spotted. he has some badass cars, but regardless, this car's going to show up and show out. Hopefully it does. It's it's they're both stick shifts, so that should be fun. I just I just want to race another stick shift car realistically. But uh, other than that, we're so close to seventeen hundred subs. We're about forty five subs away, and we are a hundred watch hours away from being monetized on YouTube. So that's been a huge goal of mine. At first, I had four thousand watch hours, but I didn't have a thousand subs. I've had a thousand subs for quite a while now, but I haven't been putting out content. So uh, just dropping this video out on basically cars and coffee and maintenance on the vehicle um next thing is just, we're just gonna go racing again i want to bring you guys as much content as possible i'm still going to bring in the truck content because a lot of you guys like watching that so uh i'm going to be making a review on how the single cab towed this vehicle with the steel deck trailer uh about three and a half hours or seven hours in total in, that, in one day so went pretty well but that'll be on the next video see you guys later peace